Hey guys, welcome to part two of this week's food forest tours. Over here at the blueberries. And this is what deer damage looks on a black on a blueberry. <laughs> As I'm sure some of y'all have seen before. They've hit this one quite hard. You can see it's quite a bit smaller than most of the other bushes there. So probably took the fence away on this one a year too early. But uh, it looks like it's got lots of good growth still down here. And it's even sending out some new growth from these shoots. I'm going to get a, a good size fence and put around them. This one should bounce back really good. I may take off the berries or I may just leave them. I think it'll be fine. But um, that may help it kind of revigorate and send out some good vegetative growth. Put in some leaves to kind of get thicker for next year. Blueberries are just looking awesome on this bigger bush. They're getting really big really fast this year. Mm, my mouth's watering just thinking about them. We made a blueberry crisp kind of thing we called it this year and oh, it's a dessert. It's so good. <laughs> it's kind of like an apple crisp if you've ever made that but you kind of take out the cinnamon and add blueberries and I can't remember if we added anything else but uh, that was so good. Great summer dessert. <laughs> All the bushes are looking really good and healthy. Lots of healthy new green growth coming out there. You can see this one actually got hit at the bottom from deer. A little unfortunate, but it should bounce back. You can see already that one's gotten hit by deer down here. The tops are super healthy though and untouched. Got some great clusters. Got some great clusters of blueberries. This one's like Mostly blueberries and hardly any leaves. It's just loaded down. Once it's done cropping though, it'll probably send out a second wave of growth after those are all picked. So it should still do a good amount of growing leaf and bush size wise. This one's got a ton of growth on it. Really thickening up this year. Looks really good. This one right here may be the biggest one or close to it. It's got a kind of a evened out amount of vegetative growth and berries on it. Still got a lot of berries but also got a good amount of that so it's kind of interesting depends on kind of how their crop load is like we've talked about before sometimes they put out a lot of berries not a lot of growth or a lot of growth and not a lot of berries or sometimes they do both and especially if they're bigger like this one they tend to kind of even out more once they you know unless they've had like a really damaged crop then they they'll usually put on more growth that year and then next the next year will be more blueberries because the because the blueberries form on that new growth so that kind of is how it works but as long as it's kind of evened out then it it does like this one eventually where it kind of sends out a good amount of growth and berries which is nice I think it's safe to say, sadly, that the mulberry cuttings have not made it. If they are going to make it, then it's probably going to be a miracle. <laughs> but um, like the uh, cherry grass right down there, it did not make it. The mulberries did not either. So I used the whip and tongue graft on these. Worked really good for the pears and the apples, but it seems to not work so good for the mulberries or the cherries I was like researching a little bit just had a second the other day and, and the cherries seem to um, do good with like either the chip bud graft or the shield graft and along with most stone fruit so that's probably why my plums failed also with the whip and tongue so might try that with the mulberry too because they bleed a lot when you cut them kind of milky sap really starts to flow out and so um, Maybe wrapping them more with the parafilm that you can see on the very tips of them might help, but might move into the chip bud graft or the shield graft for the stone fruit, which are the cherries and the plums and peaches. And uh, we're the need to probably look up what may be best for the mulberries to try. Grape cuttings are looking really good. You can see a lot of them are really starting to put on some growth. See some grape leaves among the willow in there and then some natural weeds too. 
finally see a good amount of grape leaves kind of easily just looking through that and the willows are you know those thinner leafed kind of mixed in there's some fig growth coming up right here those are the tops of some dead ones right there kind of on that right middle but I uh, checked another day and it looks like almost all of them that I can see are coming back so far so that was really good over here is the pomegranates start to see their growth coming out looking really good excited about them and hopefully they'll put on a lot of growth this year apple rootstock is just going crazy <laughs> got a lot of good growth on there some of them is about eight inches or so looking really good you can see the really the diversity in how they all look as I've mentioned on a previous video, they're seedlings, so they're all genetically unique. They all seem to be doing really good, too, which is really nice to see. You can see even ones I buried too far, like like this one right here. Let's see if I can get a good angle of it. It's hard to reach in there with this cage around it. But there's about five shoots coming up, even though I buried it too far. It's coming right through that. Some of those right there that were also buried too far. That one's like sending up two shoots kind of in the back, but hopefully it'll send up a few more. Looking really good though. I'm ribbon. really happy to see these doing so well. The peach seedlings are doing really well. This is a new one that's coming up right here. Just popped up, so it's only about two inches tall. And panning up to the, the peach seedlings. They're doing really good. Lots of good healthy growth on there. They look really good. There's a lot of them in here, too, and um, Most of them are at least 8 inches with the biggest being about 12 inches, so really really Good to see they're doing so well Pomegranates are doing good the growth is starting to get about an inch or so of growth on most of it Looking really nice some of them like this one the limb survived, so it's growing back from the limb. But right over here, this one died to at least the kind of bottom of the shoot, not maybe completely to the roots, but you can see it's already put up over a foot of growth, probably more like 16 inches already. And so even though that it died back, it's going super well. And you can see all those little tiny leaves right there in the middle will probably bring new branches that will kind of branch off to each side and really start to fill in so it looks like it should catch up as, as you can see that's that brown that light brown was the last from last year so it had a lot of branches but it's almost just maybe been growing for two weeks and it is almost caught up with itself so that's really encouraging to see this is another pomegranate with some pretty good significant growth over here. Let me see if I can kind of slide over. It's kind of hard to see, but that's the main shoot right here. And it's really growing fast too. It's a little behind the other one. It's probably maybe eight inches tall or so. As you can see, this one's got a lot of side shoots coming up though also. Like one right here, one right here. I'm guessing not side shoots, but other shoots from the base. There's one right there. So it looks like this one... As you can see, that was the kind of size it was last year. I'm thinking it will very quickly catch up to what it was too. So that's really, really good to see. I think this will end this video. Thanks for tuning in to part two, guys. I'll see you soon in part three.